Hello, I'm children's author Philip Arden, and I'm absolutely delighted to be taking part in the Ten Stories project where new up and coming illustrators and authors are matched with well established illustrators and authors. I've been published for about 30 years now and gave up counting after 100 books. The story I've written, especially for Ten Stories, is called Mistaken for a Bear, and it's based on a true event that happened in London on the commercial road near the docks in. 1839. In 1838, a polar bear escaped from a menagerie called Wormwells where they had a whole variety of exotic animals that he had brought over to the docks and then put for sale and on display in his shop. And this bear escaped. And of course, very few people had ever seen a bear. They might have seen a picture of one or seen a dancing bear in a, in a circus, but uh, a polar bear had never been seen before. So this was very exciting when it was spotted. My story is 1839, where, as really happened, a tiger escaped from the same menagerie and was mistaken for a bear because someone saw a wild animal on the loose. They thought, well, it must be that bear. And it follows the story as as to what happens before its recapture. Now, at that time, uh, 1839, people from all over the world were coming to London, which was growing and growing and growing. It really was the biggest city in the world, attracting people from the empire, people looking for a new life, and often ending up in poverty. And the hero of my story, uh, again, the character existed, but we don't know his name, but we do know his job was to help shift the coal off the huge barges of coal and help transport them. Now they'd arrived in London to other parts of the country. So it's about diversity, it's about what people are like under that grime. How we can't take people or animals at face value, because this of course is a story about a tiger mistaken for a bear. I really hope you enjoy it, and the other stories in the Pop-Up Ten Stories Project. I'm Philip Alder, thanks for listening.